All right, this is gonna be a really quick rush review of the Tantrum Gym Oxygen. I don't have a box, I don't have the uh, tips, I don't even have the cable. I got this in a trade. I don't have too much time. I'm recording this on the day I'm posting. So uh, let's get started. We're gonna talk about the fill, build, sound, and looks, comfort, all that. All right, so here is the look of the IEMs. Let me see, let me get flash on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, as you can see, it has already fingerprints on it, even though I've been wiping it with a microfiber cloth every 10 seconds. Uh, this is my second time recording because the video came out so bad the first time. Anyway, so this is the look of the auction. I really like this design, actually. Though it, though it's uh, understated, especially on this black version, which I actually wanted the silver one. It is a really cool looking design, but I hate how fingerprint magnety it is. Like, it, it just gets fingerprints every time you touch it. Like, let me just, you see, this is now cleaned. Let me put my thumb on it. You should see, like, a pretty decent fingerprint, like, on it. Anyway. So yeah, they, they get fingerprints pretty pretty easily, but well, otherwise, design is very nice. These have a full stainless steel build, and you feel it, it's very heavy, like in the hand. In the ear, you don't feel it, it's not a problem, but like in my hand, I actually kind of feel like this is heavier than most IMs, which is, it's, it's an interesting thing. It's got a really great build though, I think it's going to last you a long time, so I don't think that should be an issue if you're concerned about that. Uh, it is using a two-pin uh, recessed connector, so uh, that's nice for the people who want two-pin. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it for build. And um, so comfort wise, it's pretty comfortable. I think that uh, the one thing that might be a problem for some people is that it has a pretty short uh, nozzle. Um, so it has a pretty similar problem to the, um, let me get this here, the uh, Simgot, where the nozzle is kind of short, where in comparison to like a normal IEM, the nozzle is usually a bit like goes a bit deeper than this one does. Let me try to get this on camera here. Yeah, you see how like this has like a much longer um, thing than this one. It's a much shorter, but I found this to be pretty comfortable. Um, I think that you got to get really good tips for them. I don't have the stock tips, but I found the spin fit tips uh, to work really well and sound really great with these. Uh, when you the fit is interesting because it doesn't go like deep inserted in the ear. It just kind of rests in your ear for me, but it does seal. It just doesn't have like that suction feeling when you like put an earbud in your ear, you know, kind of just like like a suction kind of feeling in with the ear tip. It doesn't have that for me, but it it just sits there nicely. Anyway, let's go on to sound. There's not much else to talk about. Uh, sound wise, I love these. These are probably my new favorite sounding IEMs in this price range. I mean, they're not new. They're quite um, quite an old model, but I think that they're very worth it in 2023. Um, they have a neutral sound. But it's a very, it's a fun neutral, if that makes any sense. It's like a very slight bass boost, a little bit of a slight em emphasis in like the, the mid-range, very so slight. So it's got a little bit of flavor, but not much. It's quite close to perfectly neutral. If it was perfectly neutral, it would be very boring sounding. Anyway, so it has, um, it has that neutral sound, but it has a very wide stage as well. The bass is punchy, but I feel like it could use a bit more detail in the bass a bit more texture but it's punchy it's got a good 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 um good thump in the mid-range is it's and by the way these are all very big nitpicks okay because uh it, it when i sound negative it's just because these are small things that could have been improved i, I don't want to sound like a negative but I, i'm going to be saying some stuff that i want it to be better at but these things are excellent they're they're amazing but um yeah so the the, the mid-range the vocalists are a little bit further away than i would have liked because of how wide the stage is, the, the vocals are pushed back a little bit. Some tracks, especially male vocals, will be a little bit closer, but female vocals, I feel like, sound a little bit further away than I would like. But they're still close enough that very enjoyable. I, I, I'm just very picky with that. I like intimate vocals. And these have a very wide stage, so everything is pushed back a little bit. But it, it gives a nice presentation to the sound. I enjoy that. Um... Overall, uh, it's pretty pretty neutral, so there's not much to talk about in certain places emphasized over others. So I'm gonna bring in now the Penon Globe. Uh, I do want to say these are these are a little bit on the the brighter side, but they're not like uh, ha um, harshly bright. They're they're just bright. They're not um, they're not warm sounding at all. So if you like that sound, they have a pretty similar sound to the Hexa except uh, more, like, a little bit more pushed back vocals. These are more intimate vocals, more emphasis on vocals and mid-range. Anyway, uh, so let's talk about in comparison with the Globe because these are, I forgot to mention, 
200 and I think $280. These are 330. So it's like a $50 difference. So if you're in the, if you're in the market for one of these two, like, you, you know, it's close enough in price to, to back for. So let's talk about which one might be for you. Um, the globe has, it's a bigger shell, but I think these are also very comfortable. So I think that comfort wise, I don't think you are losing anything. I'd say maybe it just depends on your ear. But if, if I think that if you have a good fit on the oxygen, maybe it's a little bit more comfortable than the globe. But overall, I think that fit shouldn't be a problem with either of these. They're both very comfortable IEMs. Um, talking about soundstage, because I said the globe is very excellent with soundstage um, in my review, and it's still the case, of course. But I think that the oxygen has a wider stage, and it's just more often presented as a wide sound. Um, a lot of tracks on the globe, you know, if, if this, it will show its sound stage when a sound happens like in the track far away. I'm sorry if you heard my cat. If the, if the, uh, if, the, if something in the track happens far away, the globe will show it far away. But the, the, the oxygen just always has everything presented further away in the, in the, in the, in the sound stage. No, it's not usually not much is presented very intimately on the oxygen. Now, some people may like that. Some people may not like that. I, I like to have more intimate vocals, but I think it's done very tastefully on the oxygen. I also forgot to mention the oxygen is a single DD, and that gives it great timbre. The Globe also has great timbre, though, so it's a, it's a pretty even fight there, but most IEMs, I think, that like um, that have BAs like the Globe don't have great timbre, but this this is an exception. The Globe is excellent timbre um, for the, um, the driver configuration. So... But I think that uh, they both have great timbre. I think the Oxygen has a bit of a smoother sound. I think that the, it's also because it's a little bit less detailed than the Globe overall, I think. I think that the highs might be a little bit more detailed than the Oxygen, but the bass and the mid-range and the rest of the track overall is more detailed on the Globe. Uh, if we're So if we're talking about bass now, let's go to bass. Let's go bass mid-highs right now. Bass on the Globe bit more textured a bit punchier the, it's not bad on the oxygen at all it's just a, the, the globe has a much it's just a much better base overall i think but the oxygen the oxygen has a better placement of the base it's like it's it's a m much better imaging on the base department on the oxygen but you have a much better quality base on the globe now if we're talking just go to the mid-range go to the mid-range here i think the mid-range is much more closer on the globe than the oxygen but the oxygen i think it presents it nicer if that makes sense it's just like a more even sounding mid-range and i think that vocalists sound more natural on the oxygen than the globe but the globe have presents it a bit closer and a bit with more detail uh, going to the highs i think the highs are done better on the oxygen i think that the highs have a better extension in the oxygen they roll off more on the globe but that, give the, that gives the globe a little bit more relaxing sound on certain tracks than the oxygen. The oxygen is not fatiguing anyway, but it has more energy in the highs than the globe. Uh, I think that that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I guess also imaging wise, I'd say imaging is better a little bit on the oxygen, but they both have great imaging. Um, I think both of these are excellent IEMs. I think they, they both get... Top recommendations from me, great for the price, and the oxygen is fifty dollars cheaper, so I think the oxygen is an even better value. I, I prefer myself personally. I prefer to listen to the oxygen because I love the soundstage on these. I, I think that it, it makes it is much. It's very nice to have an IEM with soundstage because it's not something you expect, and it makes it sound a little bit more like you're listening to headphones. And uh, so I like that. I think that these are both excellent IEMs. I think it's up to you to choose which one is better for you if you want more bass. If you're listening to EDM. Rock, something like that. Get the. I think that the globe might be a little bit better. I think that the oxygen though handles rock pretty well too. I think that it just depends. Do you want more bass, a bit more intimate vocals? Get these. If you want a wider stage, something more neutral, something with more energy in the highs, get oxygen. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope this helped out. See ya. Oh, and uh, sorry about the Russian stuff like that.